day later thanks for joining my channel if this is your first time welcome I'm going to do a nice summer like golden eye today I posted a picture on insta and it was with a red intense red type of eye look and I asked if you guys wanted to see that recreated or if you wanted me to do a different color with that same type of vibe and I got some feedback I got um, gold and hot pink and so I'm gonna do the gold today and um, I'm trying to make up my mind if I'm gonna do like a matte gold which is basically like a mustard yellow or like a deep golden mustard yellow or if we will play with some shimmer today so stay tuned if you're interested in seeing which way this goes and um, don't forget to like and subscribe let's get started so I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick I'm using Morphe eyebrows today, still. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do first is put the concealer like I always do. Start at even base with the, con the translucent powder, just so we can blend out really easily. I'm gonna just pat this in with my finger. Go old school. Your fingers are your best blenders. Probably not, but I'm just, you know, talking. Okay, so we're gonna start building this eye with some light browns. These browns will easily fade into the color that we're gonna focus on. So I'm gonna grab my 35OM palette. I'm gonna start with the orangey browns over here in the corner, you can see. Um, just like light browns, and I'm taking a little bit of all of them. I always find I get a good pickup with synthetic hair brushes. That's just my personal preference. These brushes are from Amazon, link down below. You can find you a set from my page. Look how easy that blended on. Because we had a good base. Now because we want like a good punch, I might add the concealer back on the very top of the lid. I don't really want a cut crease, so I would just add concealer back with like my finger on the lid. But I'm gonna keep building this out now. I love how like velvety this looks. I'm gonna deepen it a little bit before we apply the gold by adding a little bit of this color here. It's sort of like a burnt orange slash brown. And I'm just gonna deepen that where I'm going to start the descend into the gold pop on my lid.
right, we will go back because I don't want it, I mean, after we add this gold, it has to be like one cohesive look. So we will go back. I'm adding this concealer here with my finger so it's not a cut crease. But I want it to like blend out into the oranges, the burnt oranges, the browns, whatever you want to call them. Now the pop of gold is actually going to be the um, Lisa Frank pot I have here. And doing that with your finger, it's just like really easier to blend out instead of doing a cut crease. Cut crease is made to be hard and sharp, whereas like this is just, I want it to be blendable. Got on the bottom of my eye because I was using my finger. Now this could be a look if you wanted it to be just right here. Again, it's all your preference. I'm gonna go a little bit further here, just on the outer corner. So many variations of golds and metallics. I like when they're like sort of radiant. So this got like right up under my brow. I'm gonna add the concealer back. So I don't want it to be like fading into my brow by any means. I don't like that look. So just add it back and then blend it out. I am gonna put a little shimmer up under my eyebrow, which I don't do all of the time. But if we're doing a golden look, I think it makes sense to today. So you don't ever want that to be too harsh either. The key to success, as always, is blending. Shades of gold going on, inner corner, center, bronze. And I like it. When you're doing gradient looks, always take a clear brush, nothing with a brush with nothing on it, and sort of swipe side to side. Make sure everything's cohesive. You can always get it how you want it if you have enough time. And we always don't have enough time, right? We're gonna add a wing, we're gonna add lashes, I'm gonna do my face, and then I'll show you guys the final product. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.